Hey folks, what's going on? It's Sean Mullen coming to you from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. You see outside, it's uh, another day over the hundreds today. Actually right now I'm getting ready to pack, going over to La Jolla, California. Uh, they're flying out out of, uh, I'm flying out of Southwest Airlines today. Uh, actually what I'm doing out there is I'm donating bone marrow. So, uh, making this little video to show you my trip, show you the experience. Um, hopefully to encourage a couple people to, to do the same because he could save a life as we take you through the process here. This way you can share it with your co-workers and maybe more of them will volunteer, huh? Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Alright. Sometimes it gets too hot to work. It's yeah. pretty hot out there, you know. Yeah. All right. This is for your temperature. Yeah. And it could be a good thing to share because uh -huh. you prepared, not even knowing who that person was, and that's the, what a true blessing is. You don't know who's going to receive it, and they don't know who gave it. In right. the Bible, it says that's the one you're blessed the most for. Right. Right. So. Yeah. I wonder if someday we will meet. But I didn't do that. So these shots bring out the stem cells out of the body, kind of, or? They help you produce a little, I think they help you produce more bone marrow. Oh, that's what it is, okay. Yeah, and that's why you might get achy bones. Okay, because the actual donation I'm giving is not out of the it's hip bone. It's a plasma bone. thing. Yeah, it's, it's out yeah. of the, the blood, right. So, um, this is all real new technology. Okay. And so, so, a little bit of background on how I was able to do this. Um, through my place of employment, uh, they had a bone marrow registration where you um, all it is is it takes five minutes, you sign in, fill out all your information, and then a nurse um, swabs your, the inside of your cheek, takes a little DNA um, out of the inside of your mouth, and they send it off to a lab. Uh, about two, three months later, I heard back saying that I was a match for somebody. Um, now, it's only about a 1% chance that you're a match, um, but if you are, um, you know, uh, the person might have, you know, leukemia or some kind of... Uh, you know, blood cancer, um, by giving them their bone, your bone marrow, um, you could potentially uh, save their life. All right, so we're, we boarded the plane. What time is it? It's about 8.10, 8.09. So we're all set. Uh, good view of the, uh, of the wing up there. Uh, real short flight, it's only like 50 minutes, right? 50? Five, five, five zero. It's less than an hour flight. Uh, so yeah, we're on the plane, all through security, ready for our San Diego vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's about uh, 5.30 in the a.m. on donation day. Just gonna do a quick shower and then head over to the hospital. Gotta be there by 7. Alright, we are walking over uh, to the hospital, it's a couple blocks away. And Karen is really cold. Yeah. It's so cold here. It's it's like 65, <laughs> and I'm very comfortable. Cause you didn't tell me that I'm wearing summer clothes. You wearing what? Wearing summer clothes. It's summer. It doesn't feel summer. <laughs> it's very comfortable here. <laughs> Final day of shots. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sean. Hey, just getting started uh, about 20 minutes in, and both of my arms are punctured. Both? Yeah. Your blood. Yeah. Is there a lot? No. A lot of blood? Because it's returning. Okay. Yeah, so, um, what are you watching? Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, good. Feeling, uh, feeling strong, not too tired. They say that I might sleep. I'm not, I'm not tired though. It's the Adivan. Huh? It's the pill you took. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right, maybe come over like every half hour and check. 
or every hour maybe. I'll be, I'll be here for like four hours. Yeah. So, two hours finish. Two more to go. Yeah, we're halfway through. And he's out. <laughs> Take a little nap. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling fine. Just a little tired there for a while. <laughs> so, the movie was good, but I slept the whole thing. You did? Yeah. How's your movie? I, I haven't moved on. I fell asleep. Oh, you fell asleep the whole time? Yeah. Alright, we'll report back a little bit. Alright, about 70 minutes to go, I think. So it's 1 1 5. Yeah. yeah. Hang it in there. Okay. I'm gonna move my arms. Alright. Hey. Almost done. Final stretch, last lap. <laughs> it's getting there. Can't wait to have these things out of my arms. Huh? Can't wait to have these things out of my arms. Can't wait what? These things that are in my arms, what do they call them? Get rid of them? Yeah. I don't like them there. Yeah, later. A few minutes. Yeah. Almost done. He's watching Letters to Juliet. <laughs> Making fun of me for that? No. Go back into our green stack mode. Okay. So, um, the machine will turn the green stack as much as your blood cells back into your arm. So then it, it, your axis line won't be pulling anything out. It'll just um, be returning into the right arm. Okay. And that took about five minutes. And then I got to draw one more blood sample that will, like, um, check a post blood, blood count. So okay. your red blood cells, your white ones are doing. Sure. And then I'll pull them out. Okay, good. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the creamy is better. Okay. It's really so it's a good deal. I think it's that's the one with that. That's awesome. Because you know your, the color of your blood is obviously like a dark red, so it's, it gets creepy. Oh, good. Good product. Right here. You guys are right over the so I want you to leave uh, this bandage on okay. for four hours, okay? Four hours. What time is it now? Time is about 2.30, so okay. 6.30, go ahead and you can remove it, and uh, right. you should be okay, you shower, all that. Okay. just want the pressure to be, you know, we do like a little pressure dressing, so... So how'd it go? Um, so it's already done. It's already it's already 5:45. It's 5:45 p.m. and it's still sunny here in California. I like it here. <laughs> so we're all done. I uh, just took a little nap. Got done a couple hours ago, but uh, yeah, I got the scars to prove it. Can take the bandages off in about an hour. Um, but yeah, everything went well. Um, the only, uh, we got a picture of the, the whole thing of bone marrow or stem cells. It's only a little bag about this big. I thought it would be bigger. Um, but yeah, they're going to ship it off, rest delivery to the person tonight. Um, the patient has to receive it within 48 hours. Um, right now they're currently undergoing radiation or chemo. Um, so they're depleting themselves of their bone marrow. Then they'll get mine to, uh, to be healthy again. Um, and they'll keep me abreast about that. Um, other than that, we're, uh, we're going to head to Del Mar for some dinner, maybe see the beach a little. Uh, just enjoy beautiful Torrey Pines, La Jolla, California. Hey everybody, thought I'd just give you a little recap on how yesterday went. Uh, made it home alright, uh, sitting out of my uh, porch right now, um, back in Las Vegas. Much, much hotter than uh, Torrey Pines, California right now. Probably 30 degree difference on the warmer side. Uh, but everything went well. Um, Donation went fine, no, no, no really pain for me, it took about five hours, um, then they collected my bone marrow. But the message I want to get across is to please, if you ever have the chance, please register. Um, please register your, your bone marrow, um, get the inside of your cheek swabbed and uh, register. Um, because that's how I ended up being a match, I did it through work. Um, small chance that you are a match, but obviously the more people we can get registered, the more lives we can save. 
um, through this process. Um, special thanks to, um, to my bosses and my employers for uh, letting me have the time off. Um, I didn't even have to take any PTO for this, that was real nice. Um, and then thank, thanks also for uh, setting up the registration. Because I might not have ever registered if they, uh, if they didn't set that all up for me. Um, so I appreciate that. But uh, if you ever have the chance, um, you know, do register because you could uh, make a big difference in someone's life.